desalination, seawater undergoes a series of treatment processes before it is turned into fresh water. To draw water from the sea, a tunneling technique called pipe jacking was used to burrow some 10 meters below sea level for the pipes to extend to the sea. Three intake tunnels and one outfall tunnel were constructed in this manner. The process starts by extracting water from the ocean using wells located on the shoreline or by using an intake structure located in the open ocean. First, debris and large particles are removed by a series of intake filter screens before the seawater is being pumped to the ultrafiltration pretreatment system. The direction of flow through the membrane is from a less concentrated solution, such as fresh water, to a more concentrated solution, such as seawater, until equilibrium is reached. Reverse osmosis is when the opposite occurs. By pressurizing the concentrated solution, the seawater, we are able to force water molecules to pass from the salty seawater solution through the membrane to the fresh water. To protect the reverse osmosis membranes from becoming clogged by solid particles that can be suspended in the seawater, the seawater is filtered before passing through the membranes. This is accomplished by using multimedia filters, which are tanks or vessels containing a series of layered granular materials. Next, the filtered seawater travels to the cartridge filters, which act as a second stage of filtration. Cartridge filters used for seawater reverse osmosis are typically made from a yarn-like synthetic material that is wound into cartridges. These remove even smaller solid particles from the seawater, such as fine sand and clay, before the seawater proceeds to the reverse osmosis membranes. Membranes. Crystal ultrafiltration membranes are able to filter out the smallest impurities such as micro-suspended solids, microorganisms, bacteria, and even viruses from the salt water. The water leaving crystal membranes is of consistently high quality, which helps to maintain the efficiency and preserve the lifespan of the reverse osmosis membranes. High pressure pumps increase the pressure of the seawater up to 1,000 psi. The pressure needs to be sufficiently high to overcome the naturally occurring osmotic pressure and force water from the saltwater side through the reverse osmosis membranes to the freshwater side. In reverse osmosis, salt water is pumped through semi-permeable membranes to separate water from the dissolved salts. The result is ultra-pure water, which then undergoes post-treatment to be remineralized to meet international drinking water standards. The water is then stored in the product water tanks, ready for distribution to homes and industries.